is TMJ4 News at 5. I know this isn't easy, not for parents like my own kids, our educators, school staff, and administrators, and especially not for our students. Governor Tony Evers speaking today during back to school season. Thank you for joining us, everyone. The Milwaukee Health Department announced this afternoon it has approved 10 private schools to reopen this fall. However, another 25 schools that submitted plans to the department are still waiting. Sean Gallagher talked with school leaders on both of those lists with the start of a new year fast approaching. Chalk lines the sidewalk outside of Divine Savior Holy Angels High School welcoming incoming freshmen for their orientation. This is the first time in five months students have been allowed back inside of the building. This after their reopening plan was approved by the Milwaukee Health Department just two days ago, so it's full steam ahead for them. I'm not going to lie, it's been a stressful several weeks. Principal Dan Quinnell and his staff at DSHA haven't really had a summer. They've been working hard to figure out what they can do to get their 700 plus students back to school in person. Classrooms are spaced out. Even in the auditorium, the students have several seats between them for orientation. Down to the hallways, all with the kids' health and safety in mind. We're thinking driving. Uh, solid lines you don't cross, dotted lines you can cross. Trying to create one-way traffic. Quinnell says they'll have a hybrid reopening. Half the school will be here Monday and Tuesday, with the other half Thursday and Friday, and everyone learning from home on Wednesdays. It's different, but students will get back to some sort of normalcy. She's very excited. She's not crazy about the mask. <laughs> She's getting a few pimples from them. <laughs> However, uh, she knows the importance of it. Dr. Lori Albright has a daughter at DSHA. She's also a pediatrician and helped create the school's reopening plan. Everyone wants the successful reopening of schools so we can get back to the way things used to be. But not every school is so lucky. It's really hard to be in limbo and do a good job planning for learning. Kim Taylor is the director of Pathways High School. She says they submitted their plan in late July, but still haven't heard back. I think some schools are waiting, and I feel like that's just causing so much anxiety for teachers. So she made the decision to start the year virtually. The planning for virtual versus hybrid versus in complete in-person is very different for teachers. Um, so I was really cognizant of the fact that our teachers needed time, the ability to research and figure out what, what they were going to do to equip our kids with the best learning opportunities. The Milwaukee Health Department says reopening plans are reviewed in the order they're received and prioritized by opening date. We'll have a full list of the schools that have been approved at TMJ4.com. Just click on this story. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News. Sean, thank you. Families